this is a video recommendation to Seahawk Raptor fan. Um, like, he wants me to talk about um, rejects, incels, and um, like, just like not can't can't get with a woman, man. Like, listen, like I think, like if you're like you're not a loser, man. You know what I mean? Like, if you think that, you're not, you know? And, um, re reason why that in this generation that women reject men like crazy nowadays is, uh, it's because of this online dating shit, man. You know what I mean? They, they have this, um, delusional thinking that they can get a man with, like, a lot of money that's tall, that's, uh, you know, um, my bad, that cat's kind of annoying me a little bit. Get down. Get down. Stop it. Get down. Just sit down, okay? Hmm? What am I saying? Um, yeah, it's like, it's, I think it's, it's caused by this online dating scene, dude. Like, that's not the only cause, but I think it's a lot of it. Like, they have, like, unrealistic expectations of a man, you know, the height, which you can't control, you know, like, now I saw a video where you can change your height, but how healthy is that, you know? Like, I, w I would say, like, I have a, pr I had a problem with that, too, you know? Like, I never had a girlfriend, like, in shit, so... And, um, I hooked up with girls, like, on the bars and, and stuff like that, and got laid and stuff, but, you know, it's just, I understand how your pain and, and stuff, you know, the society wants you to, like, get married and fucking do all that shit, man. That's something I'll never do. I'll never get married, you know, so... Like, they say that you should never chase a woman. I think that's true, man. The more you chase a woman, the more it, it makes you sound desperate, you know? And it, it turns them off, you know? So. Like, I, like, it's just better just to stick to yourself and just enjoy your life in some way, even though this world's suffering, you know? So there's nothing wrong with just being single or whatever, you know? Nothing wrong with it. Because I had, I had a friend that was in a bad relationship. And, um, she cheated on him with his, his friend. And it messed him up, man. You know? And, like, he was in shape. He did wrestling and all that shit. Ever since he dated that, that, that asshole, you know? She, like, he... He got really depressed, he got, he, he got, he gained a lot of weight, and he just felt like he had no motivation, man, and, like, ever since I, I became friends with him, too, like, I helped him out through it, man, and he felt a lot better, you know, so, like, if you think that you, you're rushing for your, if you want to have a girlfriend and stuff, I wouldn't even rush it, man, just do the things that you like to do, you know, like your hobbies and, and shit like that, man. If you've never been laid, like, just get an escort, you know? I don't know how you view escorts and prostitutes, but I've done that. You know what I mean? I've done it a couple times. I've done one. I actually got one this year, you know? Like, you won't get that intimacy, you know? But you'll get... You'll have the sex, you know? Like, there's a stereotype where they say that escorts are um are abused and they're treated like shit you know what i mean and that's true i i think that shit's fucked up and there's underage girls right that shit's fucked up too but like uh there's escorts out there that never really been through like shit like that and they like what they do you know probably most likely because of the money you know because they get paid a lot because a lot of men are horny and they want to fuck, you know? But, um, 
Yeah, if you if you're if you want to consider that, man, go go find escort. And, like you don't want to go on the street and find one because it, it'll uh, there's a lot of STDs on that one of them. But you want to get a high class one. You want to get one that's just uh, online. You know. Like there's a website called arrows.com and you can you can find ones around your area, you know what I mean? If you just want to get laid, you know. And it's I think it's more safer than um than the bar or the club whatever. Cuz like they te they they test them. Like these high class ones, they test themselves uh, as TDs and and stuff, you know. They could be lying too, because that could happen, but from my experience, it was pretty good, so. I just do that, man. If I if I feel like I need to get laid or something, because I don't feel like I need to approach women right now, so I'm, I'm trying it's, I don't feel the need to do it, man. I just, it just seems pointless to me, so I, if, I just have a fuck, and that's it, you know? But anyway, back with the incels, like... I understand how they feel, cause like, um, like you, like, cause women feel like they need a man that's strong. They need a man that can protect them, you know. And they have these high, these huge expectations of a man, right? Imagine that a man's small and he's got low height, you know. They'll just reject him. Like, if, if a man doesn't have the social skills, you know, they'll, they'll reject them, you know, they'll have the confidence. So much like expectations of women, man. It's because of this generation, you know. The online shit's making it worse, you know. Like, if you want to try it out, like, you can catfish a woman, right? Like, on, on Tinder. Like, you can just, like... You can just see how many matches you'll get. Just screenshot a hot, like a, no homo, like a hot dude um, on Google, right? And then fucking put it on Tinder and see how many matches you'll get. You'll get a whole bunch of matches from women. This is a, uh, this unrealistic shit, you know? I feel you, man, with that stuff. I watched that video that you sent me too. That guy that says he every girl just rejects him. You know, I felt bad for him, man. Like, um, it just sucks. It's not just women. What men do it too, man. You know, women do it the majority of the time, though, in my opinion. So they got too much expectations of a man, dude. You know. You need to, you need to have, make a lot of money. You need to fucking um have a six pack. Like you gotta be socially hundred percent confident. Like you have to have super great social skill, like godlike or fucking like um. You have to have the right height. Stupid shit like that, man. You know. Like, yeah, don't, I want to, like, like, it's just, like, it's just from your biology that you have to have a partner, you know? Just like what Nothing said, like, it's, all it is is just, you're never really, you never really feel in love. You feel like you need something new. Even though you stay loyal to this woman, you're always checking out some other chick, you know? Like, say you, you're at a mall with your girlfriend, right? You see a girl with a nice ass and tits, you know, fucking, um, you look, you know what I mean? You're not really, like, you're, you're looking for something new, but you're, you're, you're staying loyal, you know? There's no such thing as true love, you know? Same thing with women, too. It's not just men. Men, I mean, women do the same thing. They'll check a, a dude out, like, his physical body parts and at the mall and, they're looking for something new, you know what I mean? They get bored. It's just boredom. Just like what nothing says. Kind of, I agree with that, what he says here, you know? 
but don't don't feel bad, man. You know what I mean? Like maybe maybe like if you want to find a girlfriend, right? Maybe just like don't I want to even find one because that's like chasing, you know? Like like if you see a girl that you like and you want to go up to her, you can, you know? Like maybe just better yourself or I don't know, man. I don't like it to be a self-help like video but like maybe work out get in shape or it's a lot that's how it is in this world like if you're in shape dude like girls are gonna dig it you know what i mean majority of them unless you find that one girl that doesn't have a crazy preference that'll be india you know which there is there's women that don't have high expectations of a man it's just hard to find you know Like, my preference with women is just, she just, she doesn't have to be, like, crazy in shape. Like, she just has to be, like, thin. Like, she can be a little chubby a little bit, you know? I like my girls thin, you know? But that's just my preference. Like, some, some dudes like girls that are heavier, you know? Like, who gives a fuck, you know what I mean? Like, um, yeah, you know? Um, what else? Yeah, don't be ashamed of, like, being a, like, like, people shouldn't be ashamed of being a virgin either, man. Like, all it is, you're just fucking, and then you just bust a nut, and then you get that euphoria. It's just the temporarily happiness you get. That's all it is. Don't get me wrong, I like sex too, you know what I mean? But it's not the end of the world, man, you know? Like, I'll get you, I'll give it, I'll, don't get me wrong, like, when you're stressed out, it does feel good, though, you know what I mean? When you're stressed out, you, you, you feel like you have the urge to have sex, right? You know? That's what I think it really is, it's just, like, men need to, um, release their stress, you know? And when they can't do that, it just feels like, it just feels like they... Just, they get more stressed out, you know? It's fucking suffering. That's why you shouldn't bring someone here, you know? So. And with the incels, like, I kind of get what they mean. Like, it's a lot of this shit's genetic, like, what an attractive man is. Like, it's either you have it or you don't. Your parents have attractive genes, you know? Like, I'll just say, like... Just do you, do what you like to do, and, you know, it could come up. You, you you can get a girlfriend, man. I think you can, you know. It's just, it's just, um, I guess it's just part of time, I guess. I don't know. Because uh, I don't have a girlfriend right now, you know. I never had one, so. Like, um, yeah. Yeah, is that a lot of men look da down on me other men with that stuff, too. And it's just fucked up, man. Why don't they just raise them up, you know? And support them and try to help them out. Try to get laid or get a girlfriend, you know? And help them, you know? But most of these people rather make fun of the men that fucking... With those things than, uh... Than lifting them up, you know what I mean? So... I would just say, just do you, man. You know, don't worry about that shit online and stuff, you know. Like, don't get me wrong, I, I, I kind of do get worried sometimes, too. But it's just stupid and pointless, man. It's a pointless world we're living in, dude. Once you're dead, you don't even care about it anymore. Because you don't even have a conscience anymore, so. And, um. Yeah, that's it, though, uh. I'll catch you guys with another one.